Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to look back at iter tools and we're going to look at the method accumulate. It's a pretty interesting uh, tool and it needs to be paired with a function. So that was actually why last video had operator uh, library uh, the module in it okay so from iter tools import cumulate so all right let's just let's just look at this help cumulate all right so it takes an iterable does a function and returns a series of accumulated sums. So, all right. I want you to think about a tally as you have a number, uh, a list of items, and you need to do the subtotal and then the final total. So, all right, let's just look at this. So, let's make a list of range through five so all right and we know what this is going to be it's going to be zero one two three four right okay so that's cut and dry so now let me show you how this works so if I do accumulate and then I do X Oops, sorry, forgot one thing. Import operator. Okay. Late. And then X. And then I'm going to do operator dot add. So, all right this is important so it's just going to do nothing right now but then I assign it to a variable and I want you to look at this it's just gonna create an object so we need to wrap this in another list so all right now let's call Y okay so let's look at this so zero 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 plus one is one subtotal total of that one plus two equals three then subtotal three plus three equals six subtotal six plus four equals ten now you might say well why in the world just don't I use sum and use this well that is for if you want to get the sum of something and you sum a list but what happens if on each iteration you need a total so a good tool for this would be is if you wanted to create a um, collection of all the subtotals and then the uh, total at the end and then you wouldn't have to add this and put this in a list this nice handy tool is there for you and this is also an awesome use of the operator add and you can then do this for um, let's say you wanted to do the factorial of of something and let's say so don't do zero so we do mul or multiply. So then we call this, and there we go. So each through here. So that would be one through four. So this is each step of the factorial. And then, of course, you'd print them in reverse. But this is an absolutely awesome little tool if you instead of having to append a list or do list comprehension guess what you just throw this in here and it does each iteration all the way to the end of whatever math operation you'd like so all right
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and most important, the notification bell. And please keep those comments, questions, video requests. Have a pretty cool video coming that is um, been requested. So um, appreciate all the views and all the subscribers and just keep watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.